everyone, Mel here, and today I'm going to show you how to send custom XAPI statements from Articulate Rise. And I'm going to be using this example course that is, or sample course, that's an employee health and wellness course. So I go ahead and preview this. I'll let you know what we're going to be tracking today. So on this course in particular, we're going to be tracking when the page turns. So when you click on these sidebar tabs, so you'll be able to see what pages people go to. And the way that we're going to be doing that is we're going to be identifying when the anchor point up here or the hashtag changes on the page itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this and I'll show you how you can make this work. And then in future tutorials, I'll show you how to collect more data on different things like clicks and videos and all the other good stuff that is in Rise that's interactive. But let's just start with this. So I'm going to have to go back to my main page here and then you can click on export and when you go to export there's going to be several different export types. For this one what we're going to export for is web and you would think that it might be LMS and you would choose XAPI, but we're doing this for the web because we're going to be exporting for this to live outside of a learning management system. And when you choose LMS, this one wants it to live inside of a learning management system. So select web, and then we are going to click export. And of course, in some cases too, you can use SCORM and XAPI at the same time. But we're just doing this for web today. <clears throat> so I have a little bit of a cold, so if I'm like coughing and stuff, that's why. Um, so for this, we're gonna um, open this, unzip it. I'm just gonna get rid of the old zipped file. And then we're just gonna be editing one, uh, one file in here, and that's the index.html. So what I'm going to do is um, I like to use a terminal to open things. You don't have to do it this way. You can just open it like your regular way. So I'm going to open that in my terminal. <clears throat> and I like to use a text editor called Sublime Text. Oh, it does not want to open my <clears throat> folder here. Hold on. It's so weird. It's opening the wrong thing. <clears throat> It might be because it's in downloads, I don't know. Um, so I'll just open it regularly here. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and this is where we're going to put in the code for the tracking of the page changes. And I've already gone ahead and created that for you, so you can go to my GitHub here, and at the top is one for Storyline, and the bottom here is one you'll see it indicates that it's for Rise. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to copy this code into my RISE course. And I'm going to put that before the body tag closes, which is this one here, and then after this main.bundle.js script. I'm going to go ahead and save. So what that is doing is it's appending my jQuery, my crypto, my XAPI wrapper and my XAPI.js, which is the only script that you really have to worry about beyond this one, and that one is to hook up to your learning record store. So um, what this script here is going to do is it's going to run a function. Um, so whenever the hashtag changes, it's going to run this function to see what page you're on. So what happens is, for some reason, we need a uh, timeout because it won't just automatically grab the page as soon as you as soon as it, you click on it. So I have a little bit of a timeout on there. Um, so what it's going to do is it's going to grab um, your location of your window and it's going to put that in as the object ID and then you can adjust that as needed. And in the if statement, it's looking for your exact page URL. So when your page URL is exactly this one, it's going to send the statement. So we can go ahead and look at that. I'm going to open this index.html in my browser. 
And say when we start the course, we want to know that people clicked on the gauging your wellness page. So what we can do is we're gonna go up to the top address bar, copy that, and then we are going to paste that in here. So that means when they select that, we wanna send a statement. So we'll just say, <clears throat> what is this one, gauging wellness? Gauging your wellness. So you wanna say that the person experienced gauging your wellness in the RISE course. So I can go ahead and save that. And then what should happen is when I run this, um, everything will work. But what I need to do first is make sure that I have these two files in my folder and downloaded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to here and I need to download the xapi.js and the xapi wrapper. So I'm gonna download those to a zip and I'm gonna pop those in there. So let's go ahead and open them in a new window. And open. And then I'm just gonna drag these into here. And they're ready to go. So the only thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to get your learning record store's endpoint. So I'm opening the xapi.js file because this is how it's gonna to connect to the learning record store. So you wanna to go to your learning record store. I have learning locker here. I'm gonna grab the endpoint, which is this, and I already have that in the file, so I don't have to worry about that. But if you have a different endpoint, you'll need to change yours. I'm gonna grab the key, and then I'm going to grab the secret. So first I wanna put the key here. And then there's going to be a colon, and you need to make sure that colon stays there. And then grab the secret. Put that in here. Make sure that all works right. Okay, looks good. And then we're ready to go. So um, basically, all I have to do now, well, really all I have to do now for real, is test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. And what I like to do to make sure that things are working appropriately is I always have my console up so I can see any of the errors. So right now we're not getting any errors, so that's good. So that's um, in Google Chrome, right, right click, click inspect, and then your console is the second tab here. I'm going to go ahead and start course. Nothing's happening currently because we don't have a statement set to send, but when I click on gauging your wellness, as long as I didn't do anything wrong, we should have a statement sent to our learning record store because we're saying when the hashtag changes and equals exactly what the hashtag um, URL is for this, we're going to send a statement. So when I click that, this is always a good sign when you see that, you'll be able to come over to your learning record store and you can see that I clicked on gauging your wellness. And then if I wanna do another one, let's just go ahead and do another one. So maybe I wanna know when people click on stretching for success. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna come back and grab this URL because it's different. So um, if I go to creating healthy meals, you'll notice that it changes as you go up here. But it doesn't automatically change. It ch it takes about it takes a little longer than like a split second to change. So that's why we have the timer on. Um, okay. So then let's see. Um, I want to have another if statement in here. So what I'm going to do is add this add the second one here so let's just make sure this looks good come here you always have to make sure your code is written correctly so i'm going to go ahead and add another one and what's our name of that page let's see um stretching for success so we'll come down here and say stretching i don't know why you would only want to know two pages but we're just doing two Stretching for <clears throat> success, just to keep it consistent. We'll keep 
so it's lowercase. And then what it's going to do, it's going to grab that page's URL and put it in here. So you always want to make sure that whatever goes in here, which is the object ID, is unique to that specific statement. So now we need to change this out to be that location. And this is good for testing, but you're going to have to change the URLs to wherever you have your course hosted for it to actually work. I'm going to go ahead and save. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and refresh the pages and we'll test those two out. So now when I go to gauging wellness, a statement should send. And now when I go to stretching for success, a statement should send. So I'll go ahead back over here. Let's see how, what that looks like. Uh-oh. And you know what? This one probably didn't change specifically. Oops. Specifically because something is, up. oh, because I put it on the wrong page. Dang it. Gotta get the right URL here. I picked the wrong one. All right, so let's try this again. I used the wrong one. So now, stretching for success, yes. Gauging wellness, I hope so. And you can also do a console log to make sure that it's sending for real. So let's go ahead and refresh. <clears throat> So you can see I clicked on um, experience stretching for success and gauging your wellness. So that's really all you have to do. It took me a second to realize that I didn't have this URL right. So after you've gone ahead and maybe tested one or two and then you have your file up and loaded, you can change these out to your actual file location and then that will start sending statements. So that's my quick video on how to send custom XAPI statements from Articulate Rise. I hope it was helpful and feel free to edit my script to make it even better. Um, I would really appreciate that too. All right. Bye.